Hey everyone, welcome back. Busy Gamer Dad here. Uh, gonna pick up where we left off outside the uh, Mount Golg. We're gonna fight uh, Carry the Fire Fiend. Uh, we just used a tent. We're gonna step inside and pretty much sprint right to her. Sorry for the kind of abrupt stop last week. You know, I had to help with my kids around the house. Um, it's the weekend here and I'm able to spend some time with them. I'm going to. Um, do chores with them around the house, get laundry done, get ready for the next week, etc. So please uh, sympathize with that. You know, it's kind of in the name, busy gamer dad. Just bounce around as much as I can to get the chores done that I need to for for my household. Um, I know a lot of people out there in my life they've put gaming on a shelf uh, because they want to prioritize their families, and that's great. That's you know that's very noble and what you should do. But if you really enjoy gaming. You can make some time for it. You're allowed to. You're allowed to make some some me time. It shouldn't be all encompassing and all consuming, but you know you should enjoy things that you enjoy. And you know, and my kids are getting to the age where I'm hopefully gonna start introducing them to the games that I love. So Andy got a level up. Let's see, three. Uh, <laughs> nope, only two, only two stamina. But he did get a point in, or, or only two HP. But he did get a point in stamina, agility, and intellect. All right, that's fine. That's fine. It is what it is. So discuss this last week. Um, when you're on the magma, you take a point of damage. But oh, oh, we're running. We're running. I'm not fighting these guys. I do not want to have them gaze and just yap. Dead. Hmm. So frustrating. Anyways, <clears throat> when you are on the lava, you do not have a an encounter the enemies don't actually fight you. So some food for thought for uh, making sure you manage your resources. Uh, what do I want to do here? I definitely want to heal Andy. I will do, or uh, Rian. Do one of those, and then two of those. Yeah. 300 is good. All right, let's sprint ourselves down here. So you can go to the left, you can go to the right. Again, kind of a cheating using, it, using the, the map this way. But it is what it is. Um, many, many monsters. If I remember right, these really didn't give us a lot of net gain. I'm actually thinking I'm going to run away because they're just going to expend our resources and cause more mischief than uh, benefit. And as asleep, okay. So in this version of the game, there are no um, penalties for running away. Um, you don't drop gold, is all I'm trying to say. We'll fight the one over mage. We'll fight you. You want to fight? We'll fight you. Take this news back to your friends. Um, yeah, so that was only going to be about a few thousand experience and some gold. Um... <coughs> So here we go, we're gonna press square, we're gonna check the map, and see where we're at. We're just basically gonna run all the way over there. Oh, look at that! Interesting. I, I, did we miss a stairway? Oh no, we go down, we go up on this staircase, and then we'll come down. Okay, I see. So we're not actually, I'm actually gonna do this the painful way, so that I don't have any encounters. And then, let's see where we're at here. Heal out there, and then I guess for the last one, yeah, I might as well use that. Okay, press square. Where are we at? Over here, there, everywhere. So, yeah, we're gonna go down into the corner over here. Yep, we're gonna get to a random encounter. No, no random encounter. Okay. Uh, I believe it's down. Yes, we're gonna go down. Again, I'm using the tool. I don't. Uh, necessarily approve of the tool is the simplest way to say it. I mean, it's there. I'm going to use it. I'm not going to say I'm a purist and will never use it. I'm just going to play the game for what it is. And then we get over here. Up here. So every one of these is a point of damage. A single point of damage. So you got to be careful because it is a war of attrition. They will mess up your entire party if you're not careful and you don't pay attention to it. So I'm going to heal the whole group probably twice. We're 
out of curatives. Monsters? Monsters. Lava worm. Now we're, we're pretty easily uh, going to dispatch this guy. But we might as well do thunder just to get him dead as quick as possible. Don't think it's going to do more than 50. 60. That's a good. Oh, dead, dead. One round. Perfect. Gold needle. Always good to have those. Other monsters. And then a fire lizard. These will cast fire. These will ruin your party. No joke. They need to get dead as quickly as possible before they cast their fire AoE. They cast fire 2 or fire aga or fire a. So you need to get them dead quickly. They are not to be trifled with. Um, and that's something to keep in mind as you play this game, that more monsters that you encounter later on are going to have magic spells that will just ruin your party, period. Preemptive strike, we're gonna run away. <clears throat> good, 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 good. You don't want to take any more fights than you have to. Oh, let me move this off the screen. That little mouse is maybe bugging some people. Apologies. Gold, that's always helpful. A little more in the coffers. Two minotaurs and an ambush. Alright. Perfect, we'll fight you. I don't mind fighting you. You're pretty good um, XP and gold. And we can dispatch you pretty quickly. Yeah, a thousand. We're gonna step on this and maybe get a random encounter. I'm gonna do another heal. Yes. And then I'm going to do a cure. And cure. Antidote monsters. Hellhound! These will also cast fire too. Okay, so, um,. A lot of the monsters that you encounter later in dungeons will do magic, and you need to be careful of that. Appear ambushed. I, can't, I don't understand the ambush from the treasure chest, but okay. I accept this as fate. Uh, let's, let's do thunder just to do it. Probably about 300 HP. Looks like they have around 300 HP. So they're gonna have about as much AP, a, HP as uh, like Garland from our first big boss that we fought. Money, super helpful. Ice Brand, awesome. Cannot ask for a better weapon right now. Perfect. Monsters. Lot more. Let's see if that does anything for the damage output. I'm not gonna bother casting a spell. Let's see what it looks like. Whew, yep. I believe he did uh, four hits before with the axe, and that was only 70. So, basically, I uh, doubled the amount of damage output. Flame shield, a uh, perfect get for Rion. He's the only one who can have it, I don't believe. Yep. Yeah. money. Okay, so awesome get. Uh, do, 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 do. So we need to, oh, the oh, red dragons. They can use breath weapons on us. But he was one shot by the ice brand. So uh, and he, wow, that's a lot of gold. Whew. Okay. Okay. Stepped on in a red dragon. Oh wow. Wow wow wow. I have about 400 HP if I'm. Well, I didn't see what the one shot was. Probably like 290. So in that range. Okay, good. Yeah. It's always a race against time because you do not want to fight monsters more than you have to. Because there's many that just do AoEs that will ruin your day. Um in any of the dungeons. I know I said it over and over again, but it's really something to be uh, mindful of as you get into these dungeons. Um, you're not meant to do dawdle here. 
uh, like I'm doing, getting chests. You're not meant to do this. <laughs> I don't advise it unless you have that risk-reward pretty well in hand. And who's to say right now I'm probably pushing myself way too far to the limit. Uh, 460, strength, or agility point, good. Uh, 307, no stats. 369, 11. Okay, and then what do we get? Money. Monsters, monsters. Now that we have the ice brand, I'm not terribly um, afraid, but it, oh, there it is. That's like 100 damage. Oh no, okay. Oof. Less than a factor of 10, less, which is awesome. And level up. Uh, three! Got three hit points and a strength. Contain the staff. That was totally not worth it. Ugh. Okay, before I step on here, I'm gonna do. I need to keep one no blaze for our f boss fight. And I don't want to go too far into our group heal because that's our life spell. So now, we're at the bottom. This is the end of the uh, fire cave. And each one of these is a room with treasure in it and with uh, monsters in it. And you just, I don't remember exactly. I think it's, it might be down here in the left. I'm not certain where the boss is. I'm going to go straight to the boss and we're going to fight the boss and get done with it. Simply because I don't want to dawdle here uh, and risk losing everything. So we're going to jump right into this, starting off with a boss battle. If I'm right, I might not be, so please forgive me. Fire Gigas. These are going to hurt. I'm going to run. You know what? We, let's fight them just to see. Yep. But he's he's running away. Interesting. So we can we can uh, take them out with Rion and Glitz attacking. Good to know. But they hit like trucks, even against Rion. <clears throat> That's no good. A fair bit of experience though, and money. Uh, let's get ourselves. In here. I was right. Okay. Phew. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cast. One more. All right. Let's see here. Items, ethers. How does the ether work? Restores one for each magic level. Okay, good to know. All right. Well, let's have some fun. Here we go. Have fun. Good luck. So, you are the ones who defeated the Fiend of Earth and roused Merilith from her slumber. Merilith? They changed the name? Oh, that's a cool sprite for that. The power of the burning flame is mine and mine alone. Those who oppose me shall burn in hellfire. Did they change the, the name? They did. It used to be Carrie. So Merilith is the name now. Okay. Uh, we're going to start right off with no blaze, and we're just going to lean right into... Um, Blizzard. Just keep on going. Stick with the affinities. I believe that sh she has um, a thousand or so HP. Um, and Parties evasion? Sure. Uh, she can attack and hit for multiple attacks. Uh, pretty handy to have the evasion. And she casts Dark, which misses, which is awesome. That was a crit that did only less than... Wow, that's pretty awful. Less than 100 damage. Oh, we're invisible! Haha, <laughs> you can't see. Invis, invisible. Nice! I didn't think they'd uh, animate that, but they did. Good stuff. Alright, we'll do Null Shock next. And then... We're gonna keep... We're gonna do Thundaga. Thundara, sorry. We get Fyra, so that's the reason why we have the Null Shock Fire. Or, Null Fire. We do not want to mess around with the AoE uh, fire attacks. They are quite lethal. I don't think she does Thunder. Um, and I don't believe that she would do uh, Frost. That just doesn't make sense to me. So, yeah, you just attack now. Uh... Again. 
Even crits are doing only 50. It's pretty impressive. Only 100. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna use our party heal. I'm gonna do blizzard. Dark. Oh, that would... That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, even your crits are doing... There we go, that's a nice crit, but... Uh, you got hit with dark and then... I believe the spells stay um, indefinitely in front. Six damage. Oh, we got her. We got her. Yay. Good job. Oof. We did it. Awesome. Awesome. It's a pretty scary fight. 3,000. Yeah. Oof. And now we get the fire crystal. I don't know if... Who has the fire crystal? Okay, so it's just right in front. Whoever your party lead is just happens to uh, hold it up. I know that you can go around and get a lot of powerful loot from here, but I don't have the resources. I just don't. Yeah, and we're already level 25. I don't want to risk getting too high a level um, right now because we're going to get our uh, class changes here soon. So I'd much rather just take the win. You know, you gotta know when to take the win and leave. So we'll use a tent. <clears throat> Congratulations to us. We did it. We got the the fire crystal lit up. There it is in our inventory. Perfect. Awesome, awesome. And uh let's do let's do a save. Close this off, and then how many treasure chests did we leave behind? I'm curious. 11. No. 9. 9 treasure chests. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to go back to um, Crescent Lake Town. Uh, or Town on Crescent Lake, or just Crescent Lake, or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to... Um, oh, I'm poisoned. I don't have any way to heal that. <laughs> and we're going to uh, pick up probably the Cure Stone spell, just to have it. Uh, Stona. And then... Um, do I have any antidotes? I thought I did, actually. I do. I have plenty of antidotes. What am I talking about? Silly. I think we'll go right back to them. Um, and then we'll go to the... Oh, wow. Many. And the, the Hydras, I believe, are just a big annoyance. So we're going to make them less annoying by destroying them with magic. <clears throat> I shouldn't have had Rion and Glitz attack the... Uh, Dishes for all this. It was a waste of their, their attack. Because that's not going to kill everything. Yeah. So, Glitz, let's see. Yeah, it finishes it off. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good amount of uh, experience. Some gold. How much gold do we have? 77. Wow. Nice. I like it. Make ourselves down. Here. Neo Jodeo. They're tanks. They just got so much HP. Blow them up. Uh, I'm just. Do I take poison damage while on the boat? It doesn't sound like I do. Interesting. Troll preemptive strike. certain the, the most expensive in to stay at in the game. Um, Alright, let's get over to the Apothecary item shop. And we'll get we will buy we have golden needles, we have echo grass, 
don't really care about eye drops. Uh, we have plenty of antidotes right now. We'll do another Phoenix down. And we'll do, we'll say like 10 potions, and another four, and then another ether. Just to have a smattering of um, curatives with us. Got all the items that I wanted to buy, except for here. We're gonna go in and we're gonna get. Can we get exit yet? No, we cannot. It would take a lot of gold needles to make this worthwhile, and I would much rather have the invis. So I guess I'm, yeah, I'm just not gonna get that yet. All right, let's go talk with the sages. They'll probably direct us to the next uh, place we need to go, but. Guide by prophecy, more crystals. Yep, you. I am Khan. Yes. Okay. Okay. Bring them crystals. Yes, yes. When the fortress return here, we'll reveal all. Yep. Okay, you're just saying all the same things. Interesting. Okay, so they're just saying all the same things. I guess they don't tell us where to go. We could always go back to uh, Cornelia and talk to the dancing girl. I'm sure she knows exactly where to go. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What do I want to do? How many items do I have? Sort by items. Oh, I can go in here. I'm just going to sell the stuff to the item shop. All of this stuff gets sold. Mithril shield, mithril shield. The rogue can't have the mithril helmet, right? The thief. Yeah. I'm glad I bought the silver armlet. Otherwise, I don't know what I'd be doing for armor for. Oh, sorry. I believe that's everything. I'm glad I bought those. Uh, there, bye. You know what? Let's, um, let's buy another ether. Another two. And another one. Perfect. Just in case. So you didn't have Phoenix Downs in the first uh, NES game. I believe they were available in the Game Boy Advance 1 um, or future iterations for the game. But in the NES one, the only way to revive characters was to cart their dead bodies back to the clinic and have them healed there. Uh, so you had to be very um, careful. It was always that super risky play to continue on in the dungeon or to uh, proceed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get ourselves into the ice cavern. Oop. And the ice cavern we have to gain access to by... Um, I'm fight you. You're not worth it and you're just going to drain my resources. And again, I don't want to level too far. Uh, let me see here. If I go this way, yes. Yeah, it's up this way. Sorry, forgive me. This is we're getting into the territory of the game where I'm less familiar uh, now because um, I hadn't had to replay it in a long time. <laughs> um, I may have joked about it before. Yep. So right in here is where we're going to go, and we're going to get up in here. We're gonna go. It's a pretty long uh, river ride to where we need to go, but we'll get there. Um, I know I sold the swords, uh, and we're going into the ice cave, and Rion has the ice sword. I know, I know, I know. It'll be fine. Um, they'll still do a pretty okay amount of damage. I don't believe they would have changed it that dramatically. Um, I know some people. <coughs> would choose to uh, change to, like, the uh, the Mithril Sword. Oh, I think it's up this way. Um, oh, yeah, we have the world map up. Duh! Um, we'll go this way. Ooh, definitely gonna want to use some spells on this. Yeah, see, we already have three level 7 spells that we don't even have access to yet. So, we definitely are, I don't say over-leveled, but... Um, 
we want to make sure that we're not outpacing the game. We want to be careful about uh, any of the bigger fights that we take. So we're going to get a level up here. That's going to put us 26. Yeah, level 26. Uh, 488 and point in strength and agility. 310. Uh, luck. 394. Point in stamina. Point in luck. Okay. Alright, get ourselves over here. Down here. Ocho, just a single Ocho. Ocho. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to completionist this game, um, i.e. go back and uh, into the fire uh, volcano and get all the chests or not. I know there's a, an achievement to do that. Oh, wow! Finally! Uh, 199. One point away from 200. Way to go, Andy! You're doing it, buddy! You're doing the thing! Okay, so what I'm gonna do here... Uh, we're not terribly hurt, but we did all gain a level up, so I will use a tent. Sure, Dad here. Just wanted to let you know uh, that I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of an odd jump cut or transition, uh, just because the video I recorded was about 50 minutes long, and I didn't want to upload that full-length video. So I'm trying to cut this one in half to about 25 minutes, and the next one about 25 minutes. In the future, I'll be more diligent about uh, uploading things that are no more than 30, 35 minutes if I can help it. But I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And please uh, let me know if there's anything that I can do better in the future. Have a good one. Bye.